What's up YouTube? If you're new here, my name is J.R. Smith. I'm a second year medical student at the Mayo Clinic and today I am buying a house. Um, it's gonna be a super busy day for me today. I also have class, um, which I just finished the first half of. You guys saw, woke up early in the morning, cranked out my Anki, which is my normal routine. Um, I'm about to head over into small groups. We have the option to do things either virtually or in person, but just because I have so much going on today, um, and because I usually like to actually do most things uh, virtually, I am staying home and doing class virtually. Um, and then I'm going to go and close on the home that I'm buying. And then I'm gonna head up to the clinic and I'll be um, seeing patients and practicing some echo skills on real patients. So super busy day, super busy week. I'll actually be in the clinic um, every day this week, but I'm super excited buying a home today um, after class, after signing, after the clinic, all of this stuff that I have going on today. I will talk to you guys about uh, my thought process, um, you know, everything that went into it, and uh, just all other updates. But I'm about to head to small group, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I wouldn't necessarily expect pulmonary congestion, but I agree. It's something I would want to find out about. Absolutely. JR, what's something you want to know? Um, I would probably palpate for PMI and also the carotids, um, since he has syncope. Yeah. Oh, my feet hurt. But what's up, guys? <laughs> it is about 7 p.m. Just got home. Clearly one of the best days ever because I am officially a homeowner. Madison and I signed the papers. We officially close and we are first time homeowners. Uh, super, super excited. So... Shortly after class and my small group, I ran up to the title company, their office, we signed the papers, um, became official homeowners. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that to myself. But after closing, I had to run up to the clinic and had the opportunity to practice taking a physical as well as performing an echo on um, two separate patients who had different diagnosed heart conditions. And we were broken up into two uh, separate groups of four students. So I'm with three of my classmates and we see one patient. And we um, basically use the four brains that we have to try to figure out what's going on. Um, and then we switch groups with the sec second patient. Um, and again, it's just amazing to be able to be in my cardio class where I'm in lecture in the morning doing small groups and reviewing cases after that and then actually being able to see real life human beings, real patients um, with some of the things that we're learning about and seeing how they present not only in a textbook or in a case but actually in real life. And after the clinic I was able to run over to my new house. Now I know a ton of people are probably wondering what am I doing buying a home in medical school. Um, I'm sure this is not usually what a lot of medical students do. Um, but I saw value um, in this and most of you guys know at this point that one of the main reasons is because our family is growing, Madison is pregnant, um, we are starting to build and grow our family and we thought that it would be amazing to be able to do that in our own home. Um, and so that was one of the reasons that went into us wanting to purchase a home. Um, there was a few other reasons as well. Uh, you know, when I came to Mayo for medical school, uh, I thought that, you know, if the opportunity afforded itself, this would also be an incredible place to do residency. Um, and, you know, I'm sure that Mayo is going to be one of the top places that I would like to go um, for residency. So the opportunity to stay here for more than just the four years of medical school was something that I thought of before even moving here. Um, and so owning a home in the area was something that we had always considered because of that. And even if we do go somewhere else for residency, um, being able to rent the home out and, you know, that is still going to be financially beneficial, I think, for us. Um, and so we saw that as a benefit. And, um, you know, we just also wanted to be able to have a place where we could, you know, paint the walls and do what we want to do. And, you know, that kind of uh, freedom that comes with owning your own home rather than renting. And so, um, everything kind of aligned in the perfect time, in the perfect place, and we are now homeowners. <sighs> All right, it is Tuesday. Um, Blaze and I are chilling. I just got home. I had uh, a REACH clinic today. So um, at Mayo, we have a clinic where we see under and um, uninsured patients. 
And as medical students, this is an amazing opportunity not only for us to see patients, but then for us to be able to practice writing a note um, and doing all of those kind of things that you have to do outside of just seeing patients. So um, I was able to go in, I saw my patient, um, and then I go back into kind of this meeting room um, and I basically present my patient uh, to the doctor who's going to be supervising the case and similar to any other kind of experience when I'm seeing patients um, and then we go back in together. Um, the cool thing about REACH is that a lot of these um, uninsured or underinsured patients um, they don't speak English and so it's an opportunity for me to work with a translator um, and kind of just get that experience of working with somebody who doesn't speak English because uh, it can present some challenges and um, the opportunity to be able to do that uh, you know as a medical student will make it so that when I come across these cases in my practice you know I'll be well rehearsed and well versed in how to actually navigate that and then I headed over to uh, the new house um, and was able to just see some of the new paint colors and uh, some of the things that Madison is currently working on in terms of what we're going to be painting the house and that kind of fun stuff. We actually took Blaze over to the new house so that he can start getting adjusted to the new space. Um, it's hot out here uh, and I've been in a suit in the sun for maybe too long. Uh, my office is my happy place so I'm going to head back there, <laughs> do a little more work um, and check in with you guys later. Oh. All right, guys, it is now Wednesday, um, almost 6 p.m. I just got home from the clinic again, <laughs> my third day in a row, um, having class from 8 to 12 and then clinic um, in the afternoons from about 1 to 5. So busy day, busy way to start the week. But Today was awesome. Today I rotated in the pediatric clinic, which was great. My first time ever seeing kids, and I was able to see a wide variety of kids. Um, I saw everything from a four-month-old to a 19-year-old. So um, it was just an amazing opportunity to be able to see different things that happen in different populations of patients. And one thing that was uh, really cool for me to experience is uh, there was one case where um, we were suspicious of potential um, COVID, so I was able to get, uh, you know, gowned up, extra PPE, um, and kind of just experience what a lot of healthcare workers have been experiencing over the past year and a half of, um, you know, just caution, concern, um, all mixed into trying to see a patient and make them feel better. So um, it was a great experience being able to see, see kids uh, Kids are fun. It's cool to be able to go into a setting and have a more fun and smiley and not necessarily jokey, um, but a lot of these kids are coming in just for their wellness checkups and just to kind of, you know, you get to kind of be a little less professional, but also professional, if that makes sense. Um, I'm thinking of actually going into the clinic on Friday, so I'll be, or to the actual classroom on Friday, so I'll bring you guys along if I do make it out of my office. We have the option to attend class in person or virtually, and you guys probably have gotten the gist that I usually do that virtually. But we will see if I'll make an exception on Friday so that you guys can see what an in-person medical school lecture looks like. But until then, I'm going to get some work done, rest, hang out with Madison and Blaze, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Oh, all right, guys. It's Thursday. I'm almost through this week. I just got home. It is about 5.15. Um, I had an outpatient clinic day, so seeing people in the primary care setting and um, similar to the other days where I go in and I um, see the patient, take my history, take my physical, present my patient, and go back in with the doctor, um, and we, you know, come to our conclusions together. Today, though, is a, was a special day because it was the first time that I ever saw somebody with a musculoskeletal pathology, first time seeing something related to orthopedics. Um, I was super stoked uh, for the opportunity to do this. Uh, most of you guys know that I'm super into ortho, and I saw a patient who came in, and they had an orthopedic thing. So I got to do things from a special test looking at the knee, um, you know, and just kind of going through a progression of what I would do um, and what I would expect to do when I'm actually practicing in the way that I would be practicing doing orthopedics. So um, it was super, super special. Um, 
and I'll never forget my first orthopedic patient. When I was presenting my patient, the uh, doctor was very uh, pleased with how I did and then actually wanted me to go back in, which I would have anyways with him, and then be the one to tell the patient, um, you know, what our ultimately, what our diagnosis was and then what we want to do with treatment. Um, so usually when we go back into students, you know, I usually at least don't really say much else um, other than thank you, nice meeting you, bye. Um, but he wanted me to run it even when we were both in there and say, you know, because of this, this is what, you know, this is what we think is going on. This is how we're going to treat it. And then be the one to answer her questions. Um, so <laughs> that was awesome. Super fun. Uh, you know, just more evidence of this is, this is my little niche orthopedics. But now I am going to head to a review session that I have coming up. We actually, once a week, we actually have my cardio final next week. And for the past last week, this week, and the next week, we actually have review sessions. Um, I missed last, last week's, but this week I want to make sure I get there. We have a final coming up. I want to do everything that I can to make sure I can be prepared for that. So I'm going to be doing this review session instead of actually going and helping out at the new house. Um, which I just have not been doing a lot lately this week and I feel bad about it not being able to help Madison as much as she because she's been killing it guys she's been taking the whole house by storm and her parents have been oh my goodness her parents guys can't ask for nothing better um, just taking care of the house so they have given me the freedom to pit school first this week and uh, think about house stuff later um, while they take care of that. So I'm going to head to this review session. I had to fill you guys in about my first ortho patient. And then I will see you guys later, maybe tomorrow, maybe in person lecture. Make sure you finish this video to see. And I will see you in a little bit. All right, guys, it is 840, still Thursday. Um, I just finished some of the work that I was doing, uh, just getting ready for tomorrow's lecture, learning about pericardial effusion, cardiac tamponade. All that good stuff not good stuff just stuff um, <laughs> and now I'm gonna run over to the new house Madison is still there with her parents and I'm just gonna start calling her parents my parents um, <laughs> so she's there with our parents um, still doing stuff on the house and I'm gonna run over and see if I can be of any help uh, see what stuff they've already done super excited and then it's bedtime it is finally friday it is about 7 8 in the morning um i finished the majority of my aki i still have a little bit uh, to get done but i am actually heading to class i usually don't go to in-person class but um i'm going today so that you guys can see what that looks like and also so that i can see some of my classmates that i miss <laughs> um but i am uh, running a little bit late <laughs> which is why i don't like to go on campus because you end up running late and when you're recording videos like this this isn't helping me right now <laughs> Friday is officially over, um, at least school related things. Um, it was an incredible week, but very exhausting. I'm tired. I'm going to spend some time this evening, probably editing this YouTube video, um, hanging out with Madison, going to the new house, uh, you know, working on that. Um, so, but maybe not done with my work for the week, but done with school work for the week, and that feels good. Um, it was an amazing week again. Uh, from Monday, I was able to do things with ultrasound and taking echocardiograms and 
um, you know, of, of real patience. And um, Tuesday, I was able to get into the REACH clinic, which is the um, clinic where we serve underinsured and uninsured uh, patients. And Wednesday, I was able to see pediatric patients um, across all ranges of that spectrum in terms of age. Thursday, I was able to go into the outpatient clinic and see my first orthopedic patient. And now Friday, I went to lecture live, which is <laughs> very uh, infrequent for me. Um, but I also was able to go to our Harvey session, which is a session where we have a mannequin that mimics a lot of the heart sounds and murmurs and things that we may be able to expect um, with just good audio acuity. Um, so it's nice to be able to practice really hearing that practice going through certain case scenarios and clinical um, kind of experiences um, with Harvey so that we can kind of know what we hear, know what to expect when we actually see it in a real person. Um, so busy week. Uh, most of the times it was waking up at five, doing Anki and studying until class started around eight, doing class from eight to 12, and then doing some type of clinical kind of uh, requirement from about one to five. So uh, five to five. That's that's those are long days, but <laughs> we have the weekend to uh, recuperate, and um, I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along and learning kind of the things that I am doing in my weeks. Not every week looks like this. Some weeks I have one to two, you know, things in the afternoon. Some weeks I have five, like I did this week. Um, but it's a good. I thought it would be a good week for you to bring you guys along and show you guys the different kind of things that um, we do outside of just going to class. Uh, so I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And of course, keep evolving and I'll see you guys in the next one.